Welcome back. It's me, Stephanie Sparkles. And yeah, I am doing today a Ipsy Glam Bag Plus unboxing and review. So yeah, should be fun. Lots of new products. Hopefully. We'll see. It should be interesting. Okay. Glam bag plus. Alrighty. Move in just a little bit closer. Okay. Oh, little pamphlet. It says, find your light. First up in the box, we have a Siate London. I think that's how you say it. Not completely sure, but going with that. It's an extraordinary translucent powder. So I guess I'm going to assume that this is like a setting powder, I think. I'm not sure, but that's adorable. Ooh, it's kind of like mirrory, which is really cool. If you guys have seen any of my other videos, you know that I love containers like that because that's awesome. Yeah, okay, so it is a loose translucent setting powder. Very nice. Let's take a look in here. over my face. Come on. Okay. There we go. Let's see there. And kind of do that to get a little bit of the powder out here. Okay. That's nice. It's just a nice little loose powder. Goes on nice, feels nice and silky, which is awesome. That's super cool. Super cool. Okay, so that is our first item, and our next is ooh, a lipstick. I love lipstick. Il Masqua Antimatter Lipstick. I think that's how you say it. I'm... Why are you guys giving me such difficult things to say today? But it is in a color solar. So that sounds cool. It kind of looks like a reddish blushy type color. So I was right. So that is about just one swipe. And if you actually put it on, put it on, it comes out to about that, which is really nice. That's a nice, like, nice, cute little color there. I like it. It went on nice and velvety smooth, so that was really cool. I could definitely see myself wearing that one. Alrighty, next up is Ofra Madison Miller. It's a midi palette, so maybe blush or something. We're gonna find out in just a second. Okay, it's got this nice like matte kind of white very nice. Ooh. Okay, so that got kind of damaged, which makes me so 
bad. I'm not gonna fully, but yeah, you guys can't even see. So it's kind of like a highlighter and blush. It makes me sad that it's. But I'm still gonna do my best to get some of these colors here. And the first one I'm doing is this one, this broken one. Here's the first, and then the second. Kind of looks like the first and the third are the same color, but I don't know. Okay, so yeah, the first and the third kind of seem like the same color. The second one is just like a blush, so it's like a highlighter and brush palette, which is really cute. Um, it is a little upsetting that it came broken, but I can fix that eventually if I remember I might forget I'll probably forget and then I'll go to use it and I'll be like oh I was gonna fix this and I didn't but yeah so that's my life okay so ooh. This is an Apto skincare. It's a pomegranate mask. I am excited. I love masks. I love face masks. Yes. It says pomegranate face mask. Or pomegranate mask. But we all know it's going to go on my face. see how this is going to be. Okay. Let me see. Directions. Cleanse and exfoliate the skin, then apply a thin mask layer, allowing the skin, allowing it to sink in for around 10 minutes without drying too much. Rinse off in the shower or with tepid water and a cotton pad. Allow the skin to breathe and follow with a nourishing moisturizer. So, I'm not going to do all of that right now. I just want to see how it goes on because all masks are different. So, I want to see the texture and that whole shebang, shaboozle, shadizzle, any other weird words I can think of. Okay, it smells smells really nice. I like that. Um, I'm just going to kind of... Okay, it glides on nice and smooth, so that's nice. <laughs> Mask on my hand. But yeah, um, I like it. It glides on nice and smooth. Seems to not be too hard to make it even, which I always have a problem with when it comes to masks. I always get like super thick spots and hopefully that doesn't happen with this one. And last but not least is a Nomad Berlin Underground. This case is, or this box is totally awesome. I love it. And we got all the colors on the back here. I'm super going to enjoy this palette, I feel. It's an intense eyeshadow palette, and I'm super excited. <laughs> I could get it out of the box. <sighs> okay. And ooh, the case is just the same, the actual container for it. That is awesome. I love it. And, oh, yes, these colors are amazing. Look at these. Love it. Okay, so let's see. We have, I'm going to cheat. And we've got, all right, you know what? I'm not even going to say these names because I don't know if you can see those names. I will never be able to pronounce any of these names. So I'm just going to do a couple swatches for you guys. And I want to do... 
the green here. It looks super pigmented already. That's like a steely bluish, I guess. Uh, this gold. I'm going to do the red here. Okay. These are my first four. I definitely like them. They are very silky smooth. And they're going on super nice to my skin. Which is awesome. And the pigmentation is amazing. Looks like a rainbow. <laughs> okay, let's add to this rainbow. And we are going to do purple. Go with this like gunmetal type color. That's what I'm assuming. Let's see. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna try it. It's kind of like a whitish highlighter type color. And then we're gonna go with the black. And those are my next four colors. And here we go. I love them already. Oh wow, that white is really nice. Wait until you guys see that. And the black is super pigmented too. That's awesome. I'm like diagonal on the it here. But yeah, those are super awesome. So it's like the purple, the gunmetal, the white, and the black. That's awesome. So those colors are amazing. I am going to have so much fun with this palette. Um, doing all sorts of stuff. That's going to be really cool. Okay. And now, one of the best parts of all. The list of what products are here. Okay. So, looks like we're starting out with... The Nomad palette. And yes. It says it was inspired by Berlin's rebellious 90s counterculture. This 15 shade palette features metallic matte and duo chrome hues like distressed black, burnt orange, and snakeskin green. Hemp seed oil nourishes lids with a buttery soft feel. And serious color payoff. Hmm. Very nice. And a tip that comes with this, which is actually a really good one. It says, use these shadows dry for subtle shading and everyday look. Or wet for dramatic high impact shimmer. So this is dry. Um, and it's already pretty pigmented. I just might have to try these one day as wet looks and see how that turns out. And this palette is valued at $37, which is awesome. That's not bad for a palette, as probably most of you know. Okay, and let's see. The next one is the Il Masqua Animator Lipstick in Solar. So that's my lipstick here. And it says that these beloved Brit purveyors of cruelty-free beauty know a thing or two about going bold. For example, this non-drying lipstick in a vibrant poppy coral swipes on with an immediate color payoff. Its vitamin E infused formula conditions lips for a creamy application. Hmm. Very nice. And that is valued at a $27. That's a little pricey for me just for a lipstick, but it seems like it's good quality, so maybe it's worth it for some people. I don't know if I would personally go buy that, but 
Good thing I don't have to. Okay. <laughs> and next is the Siape London with this gorgeous mirrored top. That is the setting powder. And it says this ultra blendable translucent powder from formula driven innovators, Siape London, is finely milled magic. It glides over makeup for a crease free, soft focus finish and locks in your look all day, which is truly extraordinary. I'll agree. It's hard to make a look stay all day. But that is valued at $22, which isn't bad for a setting powder. I don't use them much, but I know they're expensive. So $22 for a setting powder is not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, and I'm not going to open this again just because it is broken. But this is the Ofra Cosmetics Madison Miller Squad Palette which is that little highlighter and blush palette that says multitaskers rejoice. This three-piece palette collab from Ofra Cosmetics and content creator Madison Miller, a new mama, is all about that to-go glow. Highly pigmented and a cinch to blend, this rosy combo of blush and highlighter Creates a lit from within look in mere minutes. Oh, I can see that. I like the colors and everything. I'm not so happy with the fact that it did um, come broken. But it happens. I'll fix it. Maybe. And that little palette is valued at $35. That's a little steep considering my Nomad palette was valued at $37 with 15 colors. And this little guy is valued at $35. I don't really think that there is a $2 difference in that. But that's just me. Okay, and last but certainly not least... My Apto Skincare Antioxidant Mask with Pomegranate. It says that it is backed by top 10 estheticians. Este that, that, nah. Words. I can't. I can't words. Uh, Apto removes fluffy. Removes fluff and filler to create skincare formulas. Can I like speak today? Probably not. But like this soothing antioxidant rich mask, azaleic acid gently removes dead skin cells while pomegranate and green tea help calm inflammation and restore balance. That's really cool. I love green tea and masks. It makes your skin feel really nice. And this little mask dude is valued at $36. Again, a little pricey for just this little two ounce thing of a mask. For me. I don't know. But I really love these products. I can't wait to use them. A rainbow it's a rainbow and yeah so I'm looking forward to trying these products out I just might do a video on this palette and maybe this lipstick I'm sure this will make it into one of my videos um, but yeah I just might have to do a video with this palette because it's gorgeous so there's that. And yeah, if you guys like this video, hit like. And if you like all of my videos, then hit subscribe. Because I love you guys. So why not? Yeah. Alrighty. I will.
See you guys later. Bye.